Hello and welcome back to Pierre Space. As you can see, my ship has been welded up to its completion. And I have upgraded a little bit my conveyor sort of tower and my docking port. Um, I would like to run this more like a whole docking station for several ships. But for now, it's just one docking port. Um, and as I mentioned before in the last episode, I made this ship um, from scratch. So let me show you a little bit what there is. There is one, two built-in repair systems. Those are like those, but for ship for ships. Uh, as you can see, it relies on hydrogen. I have two big hydrogen tanks. Uh, I have a program programmable block. I have two large uh, cargo, three large cargo containers, some uh, O2 H2 generators, and also a hydrogen engine with antennas, gyroscopes, and everything what you need for this. So. As you can see, if I get in the ship, <coughs> it is it is not powered up. It is quite literally dead. So therefore, we need ice. I have a bad feeling about... Oh yeah. Damn it. I used up my whole ice supply. But that's not a problem. I just built... Again. Right here. My drilling rig. I have those little helpers built in repair. So, well, this up, well, this up, well, this up, and let's say just one, two, four. Ah, oh, four is enough. I don't care. So, go up. And another piston. This thing will weld up everything. I really like this built-in repair system. <clears throat> and it seems like it doesn't need any more advanced rotors and now some drills I just put how many Ugh. no 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 okay. one two three four and on this side Yes. Alright. And in the meantime, while this is being welded up, I can show you what I have done here. I have uh, put some hydrogen tanks in here. That is maybe why I lost all my ice. Or it's been transformed into hydrogen. And I built this shielding because I had some meteor strikes. And yeah, I don't like to hit a meteor this because hydrogen tanks tend to explode. So I have built a pattern of heavy armor and in the space between I put some light armor. So it's really economical. All right, let's start this bad boy so I can start my ship. 
and the rotor 1.5 oh yeah maybe we need pistons we need to share their inertia tension and now let's let it dig down like minus 0 0.01 0 0.01 uh, maybe it is 2 and this 2 I hope it doesn't get stuck hmm. we will see but for now I have my sweet sweet eyes and I don't have any space so all the junk in here and give me eyes Nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> Alright. Now, as soon as I put the ice in my little ship, uh, my hydrogen engine will kick off and my O2 H2 generators will kick off and I will be able to have power and steer it. So, I put some ice in it. Let's take a look. Yeah, listen to this. But it consumes all the hydrogen. So if I switch it off, suddenly, ah, my hydrogen engines are burning. And now the last thing I have to do, and this is because uh, I have, I have had this weird construction. I will let this well grind down by my built-in repair and it's flying or it should be oh no 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 as you can see I have tested it so it could lift itself even if everything is filled up to the max so with its hydrogen tanks and its cargo container but of course if it's completely empty it has some let's say overpowered thrust now I need to set up something connector switch lock so if I'm coming near to my docking space I can I can dock it properly Built-in repair, I will call it in a group. Built-in repair. So I can always turn it on and off uh, as it consumes a lot of energy. Batteries and everything else I don't need to control. I need only to control um, this block, the hydrogen engine and of course my hydrogen tanks so I can uh, the hydrogen tanks have a similar function as the batteries if you press like in my case 4 this will auto refill on or off wait a little bit I mean stockpile on or off um, stockpile on or off this means it will pull all your hydrogen from all sources to to the connected grid so if I connect it it will pull all out all the hydrogen from these bottles so its own will be full so let's start this all right and now let's dock it ah, that is maybe a little bit too harsh I don't care all right it's docked and stockpiling on and as you can see in my 
right corner the hydrogen is going up and up and up which is just nice maybe also turn on my hydrogen engine as it also have, has some tanks in it and it's completely filled and therefore this thing was built this hydrogen generator line and I have this feeling that this is too slowly, not too fast. Let's put one zero. Still don't move. In. Okay. Just hide this on. And now I will hide this one. Nice. If I hide it, I'm not running into the danger of, let's say, just pressing the wrong button and decreasing this one. So now it should be going down with 0 0.1 meters per second. Ah, let's make it a little bit faster. Let's make it 1.8 or let's make it 2. I have the ability to crash all my drilling rigs because I am getting impatient and you know the rest. Alright, and this thing is now full on hydrogen and on everything else. Those uh, cargo conveyors and sorters are currently not switched on. So so if I want to pull something from my grid into those cargo containers, I can do this effortlessly. All right, let's let's like, let this drill operate a little bit and I will build a little platform for the ship so it looks a little bit nicer. Alright, I have built this little platform. It's not much at the moment, but um, if for some reason I should lose all my power and this connector will disconnect, my ship will more or less softly touch down on this platform and don't crash into the ground. Uh, later on I will expand this and maybe make it a little bit more beautiful but it will do its purpose now so as you can see the stockpiling has been successful so this is great now let's go at first let's select my grinding color and set up the build and repair system i would like you to have fly mode to grind before weld and of course as the other one uh, grinding pick the current build color so it will be this kind of red all right this is still going really slowly what the heck all right you know what uh, let's give me just pistons Let's make it... Oh... I am not the smarter, smartest. I put it on minus. And now it's crashing into the ground. Y 
Yeah. All right. It's always nice to find your mistakes. So zero point zero one one was actually <laughs> would be all right if I had. Yeah, just adjust my my gameplay, my game style. All right. Now I have to put some some things into my ship. So let's start with some eyes. Let's give it, I don't know, maybe 20, 30, 40k of ice. That should be enough. And now I will need steel plate. Maybe not. I will take all. Because why not? Here, I will need interior plates, motor, this thing, computer. Oh yeah, full motor, computer, construction computer, power cells. Yeah, why not? All right, I think. This should actually I am already nearly full on this little storage ship. I don't have any cargo space left. Right now, very important, switch your your tanks on back on again so you won't crash and undock as you can see it's now much more slower if ascending or something like that but because it's fully loaded and now let's go to our you have something on ice iron all right let's go Ah, I will go there. Let's go to my iron base here. So, maybe also my build and repair system set it only to, to function functionality. So, there is my iron. Of course, the first um, metal or element you want to extract is iron, as it's one of the most valuable in the beginning. And you need, through the game, a lot of it. And I will mine really, really a big amount of it, so I don't have to do it much more often. And as you can or maybe you will imagine, I will place of course a mining rig here. Let's take a look. It's 30 meters down. This is also 30 meters. Eh, it's always the same. I have the cube here it is yeah 29 okay it really doesn't matter so i will put it not uh, probably here all right my first of base mining rig Should it, yeah, just go this. All right, I will build like that 
I'll just construct it. Maybe. Give me some of that component. Right. I think two pistons are enough. Ah, let's make it three. Pause. Why not? Because I can. I could put a rotor on this so it could theoretically spin around its own axis and I don't have to rebuild it. It would be not that a bad idea. Right. Uh, if you build your mining rig, always leave one block of a distance because here you can't put your drills, otherwise your rig will get um, damaged. So one distance and I will have again maybe five drills on one side, so eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six in the middle. Now. Alright, this doesn't look that bad. And now, <laughs> very important, make sure you build one or two batteries. Because if you have your trash removal system activated, um, it will remove this whole drilling rig if you do not power it. And now, let's switch my build and repair system on. We'll scan the area and hopefully do hopefully it doesn't start to deconstruct this shit. Oh yeah, sorry for that. Oh yeah, at first it's picking up everything I have left here. Yeah, and now it's I really don't like this. It's not doing me any favors. So, what? This is just unreal. Alright, there is a solution to this. Go to your build and repair system and set help others. So it can help you. Yeah, I know. Are you kidding me? Alright. And maybe. Do not janitor grind blocks. Yeah, it's working. And as you can see, only my two batteries have survived. What a waste of As you may think, I could cut this part out, but it's just part of the game. It's sometimes the game is going to make your life a little bit harder. But that's alright, because we will mine a ton of iron and then make a port, then make a starship, and then declare war on everything and everyone. And on everything I mean on the meteors and the space pirates, because I have no mods with any advanced enemies. Right now. Mm. 
one little drawback of this uh, mobile mining system and building, I mean building and repair system, is that it's uh, only available in a radius of 50 meters in comparison to the big one which has a radius of 150 meters. But I will build this rig up and I will show you soon. All right, I have built or pre-built a little bit of my first off-base drilling rig. And as you can see, it has a few pistons, it has a few drills, which are not completely ready yet. Um, I have miscalculated before. I have only 10, not 11. Um, and a few cargo containers, some tubing, and I will have here, this is probably not right. I will have here some sorters here yes um, so that uh, my ship my cargo ship can which i will build later on can get these resources much more faster uh, as you can tell four cargo containers of this size for this rig is practically total overkill but i don't care i like it this big and it will go a little bit faster later on i will probably also build maybe a solar array or something like that um, as we don't have right now uh, nuclear or uranium for nuclear power and I also don't want to transport ice from there to this base and this is practically in the middle of the desert so solar is maybe the choice to go with yeah in the next episode i will weld this thing up build a solar array and then start this but i will let this hover and build it yeah it should build as many things as possible and as many things as it has resources to and oh no the darkness it's coming I'm always crashing and something i forget about this is i built this too deep and too big so now i have basically made another one stone drill but my ice supply should be also pretty neat yeah what do i have 426k 750 and 1 million and 140 nice so or 1140 k so for now i don't have any purpose of it so i will deconstruct it using my built-in repair hopefully not as elegant as with this one which destroyed this portion of the base yeah, but for now, that's about it. You have seen my little ship, which sole purpose is just to construct, and I will use it in the first few um, flights as cargo ship, because uh, probably my supplies back at my base won't be enough for building my big cargo ship. But thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button, consider a subscription and enjoy gaming as always. Have a nice day.